Okay, so now I'm going to do a video um, about back pain and how back pain can cause a decrease in the spinal cord excitability, which then turns off the normal muscle response, the reflexive response to apply pressure in the back muscles. So um, a young man presents to my office with some back pain. Um, he can point to it. Um, that shows me kind of a, a general location, but I'm going to do some muscle testing to further identify where his problem is originating from. So uh, go ahead and lift your left leg up in the air, and I'm going to push on this leg. He demonstrates a very normal muscle response. Uh, his muscle um, contracts against my pressure. He can push back towards me. Uh, now, right leg backwards up in the air and push back up towards me, and he, he can't push back towards me, and he doesn't have a solid uh, response. So a decreased muscle response on the right. So I'm gonna use his uh, right arm as a muscle testing arm, and Kyle, hold that tight, don't let me push down. He's got a normal response from this shoulder. Now lift your right leg up in the air, pull out there, don't let me push down, and his muscle response is decreased because he's using that uh, inhibited leg and he gets muscle uh, excitability returns when I touch this part of his back. So let's go ahead and do that again. Right leg up in the air, don't let me push down. And right there, all of a sudden his arm strength comes back. I can lift it up again. I can go up his leg further but if nothing was as good as right here, and this is the strongest return of strength that I get when I'm touching this part of his back. <clears throat> Next, we'll go ahead and do treatment, and then we'll come back and retest.